there everyone, Helena here and uh, apologies for those that have tried uh, tuning in um, a few minutes ago. We're having a few technical difficulties, but I'm excited today to be joined by Gemma Dawson, who is such an incredible nail artist and I've had the privilege of getting to know as she was one of the finalists in the World Star Nail Artist competition. And I mean, she'll be an amazing person to learn from. And so you need to seize the opportunity to take part in one of her workshops. Now, she's going to tell us all about her Christmas nail art workshops um, in this live. So let me add her in. Those who are on different time zones, Carrie Timmons below. She'll be coming in shortly. Do bear with us. Gemma, hello. hello. <laughs> I wasn't sure there for a minute if it was freezing on me and I thought, no. <laughs> What's going on? All these tech issues. <laughs> it's like we're cursed, but it's okay. We're here now and we're yes. ready to talk all things Christmas. <laughs> In, you know, I don't look quite so bad now, but I think I've been talking about this since June. I think people have had enough. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, you can never have too much Christmas. Well, it's true. I mean, we need to. I, I know do. people are probably in like the last throes of Halloween. Halloween I guess at the moment. Yeah. But you need to start forward thinking and planning, right. right? Right. I mean, I've done this for three years now, and the first year, the feedback I was getting was because I thought, oh, we'll go for December. We'll do every Sunday in December. But of course, people don't have the time in December to sit and watch yeah. them. They definitely already need the designs by December for the salon work when people are coming in and asking for the Grinch. Yeah. So the general consensus was November was best. So that's what we've gone with. <laughs> and so you're launching regular Christmas nail art workshops, yes. is that correct? Yeah, that's right. So it's going to be every Sunday at seven o'clock. Anyone can join, just jump on the live. And it's going to be for five weeks. So it'll be starting on the 5th of November all the way through November and the first week of December. And can I just say, this is such a lovely thing that you're oh. doing because your talent is absolutely out of this oh, world. And we got to see it throughout the World Star Nail Artist Competition. And so for our followers to now have this opportunity to learn free uh, character nail art workshops with you is just <laughs> such a coup oh, so oh, i mean you. i really appreciate that oh i mean it's it's amazing i can't wait to watch them <laughs> so what do you know what kind of things will you be covering week on week so it's going to be a bit of everything and i think when i first did it it was just predominantly characters but this year we're branching out a bit we're mixing it up <laughs> <laughs> i oh, thought i had a bit of like 3d mixed media in because i've had a few messages about that so it's going to be something different every week there will be um some disney there will be some typical Christmas characters like the Grinch, who's always super popular, so he's in there. I'm going to be doing a 3D mixed media week where we're going to build something out of all nail products and it's going to be a bit out there and zany for people to try if they want to get their, you know, involved in that sort of competition work. Um, so that's quite exciting. So yeah, basically a bit of everything, but there will be, and I, I really want to stress this because I think people see it and they think, oh, it's just going to be like really detailed character work. There will be something for everybody. Some of the characters are um, ones that are generally easier to get on a nail because they might have like half their face covered by a Christmas hat, for example. <laughs> so then you can sort of proportion quicker. So if it's the first time a character and you're a bit wary of it, that helps. Um, in my experience, when I started out, that helped a lot. Um, there will be line work. There will be salon techniques like sugaring. There'll be layering. There'll be chrome. There'll be lots of things so hopefully something for everyone oh awesome so a big old bag of tricks before christmas <laughs> it's just what you like yeah. because i'm sure everyone's getting all of their christmasy shades together i was i was on a nail art live um a couple of days ago and we were talking about how don't leave it to the last minute no. to get all of your christmasy powders your glitters your no, shades. absolutely get them all now <laughs> get them ready well do you have um say a rough kit list for those that want to take yeah. part in the workshops what kind of things would you recommend them so, that they bring what i've done is over on my page i've written the kit list out obviously i use um hp pro nails brand so all the stuff i use will be there so i've done a kit list that will show you exactly what i'm using start to finish but i've also done a generic colour kit list mm -hmm. so that people can use whatever they want. This isn't a branded thing. There's no obligation to buy anything. I get that it's the time of year, especially this year where people are struggling. Yeah. So it's the reason that it's 
free is for that reason and also just to give something nice back like i enjoy it and hopefully people will enjoy it too um, so there's no pressure to buy anything specific the colors i've chosen for the kit list are all colors that most techs who work for christmas will have in their kit anyway if you don't use a pure gel i use a pure gel if you don't and use a hybrid that's fine i can give you tips on the live as to how we can still use those within the design and i'll just you know explain how to I don't know, change the consistencies and stuff like that so you won't have to water it down as much as maybe i would with chop yeah. coat and stuff um so yeah there's no pressure but i have done a color kit list but it's things like you know a glittery red a black and a white you know the, the staples we all pretty much have yeah um and a, a couple of art gels but again if you work with a pure gel you might not need mm -hmm. the art gels it really is up to you but it's zero pressure on any kind of brand and just the basics because I want to make it as inclusive as possible. I love that. And I love that, you know, it, uh, you are catering to all and you're doing so many of these amazing workshops that, you know, whether you're a beginner or you want to test the water of, water yeah. of nail art or you are an experienced nail artist, but you want to try 3D techniques or Absolutely. character painting, which is your mm -hmm. specialty, um, they can really learn something from you. So there is something yeah, for Yeah, I really hope so. I mean, that was the idea behind it, just sort of include as much as I can so, you know, be useful to as many people as possible. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to watch something. I mean, what are your favourite Christmassy designs to create? I, I mean, I do have a soft spot for the Grinch, um, but I do like a mini and Mickey, like a classic Disney. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's no surprise, really. It's <laughs> my page. <laughs> I mean, I've, got some, I've printed out some reference photos to give people a sneak peek of the sort of designs that I'll be doing if you wanted to see those. So I've got, this is the Mini and Mickey we're going to be doing this year. That kind of, so we're going to do that. If, depending on how people find it and how easy it is to follow, it could potentially be broken across two weeks, mm -hmm. but I'll be doing shading of characters, outlines of characters, everything. Um, and then we've got cheeky little 101 Dalmatians. I thought he would be cute, like, because I think people like the Dalmatians, don't they, generally? Oh, <laughs> Who doesn't love a puppy with a Christmas hat? <laughs> I mean exactly <laughs> oh, so cool. yeah like i'm hoping they're sort of my favorite to paint and the grinch obviously because yeah. who doesn't love the grinch um but yeah fingers crossed everybody will enjoy it and so, and you know like i say hopefully there's something for everybody i've been sort of pestering my followers since about june <laughs> asking to sort of request because i want to make sure that people are actually seeing what they want to see yeah and it's actually useful so there is still time for you to tweak things if there's something that anyone desperately wants included <laughs> um, if there's like a particular character and you're like please do that i just want to see it that's um that's definitely doable still there's wiggle room that is brilliant and it's so no you're that you're giving up your time to kind of support others in doing this because i think we i mean we're about to launch our november issue of scratch magazine yeah. it comes out next week and we've got a big feature in there on character nail art and painting which i know you've contributed to yeah and why do you think it's such a useful skill to have what can it teach i mean i feel like for me personally it helped a lot with my brush control generally mm -hmm. um it also helped me to learn how much i could push yeah. the product which sounds silly but once you get down to sort of shading and stuff you're really learning how you can use that product best to get that result mm -hmm. um but certainly line work definitely I think it's helped me with depth as well. Like I like to include a bit of depth with my characters and make it sort of look like they're sort of stepped out from the nail or sunken into the nail and there's things at different levels. And that's all again going to be in the workshops. I'm going to do a bit of texture, a bit of depth, a bit of this, a bit of that. Um, so yeah, I think it's I think it's useful. And I think I think the worry of character work is people think, oh, I couldn't do that in salon. It's not that quick. It's not, but it is doable. Yeah. It is doable and we're going to break it down. And there are parts of this that you might think, oh, I don't have time for the shading. That's mm -hmm. fine. You could still get a really cute Grinch with just nailing the outline and painting him green. And I guarantee your clients will be happy as Larry. <laughs> so, you know, why not? Nothing like the Grinch at all. Nothing They're just like, the like, like Larry instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's great because it's teaching those, um, like we said, no matter what skill level. Um, yeah watcher is at it is teaching techniques that you can take on and then then um practice and develop into not just christmas nail art designs no. but your general nail yeah, art designs and i mean i hope i always like to think that it helps with confidence because i used to get a lot of messages particularly the first year from people saying i'd love to do that but i don't feel like i can yeah and that really upsets me because i'm like yes you can it's fine we'll sort it it'll be absolutely fine <laughs> so and then after that i've got so many people now that 
that tend to do it year after year, who give positive feedback every year. And honestly, like the difference between the start to finish is incredible. Um, yeah, I just, I think it's a nice thing to do. It's festive, it's fun. And I'm hoping a lot of it as well is to do with connecting with other nail techs. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that, you know, I often use a hashtag. So everybody's work goes on the same page. So everyone can see each other's work. You might see text in the comments that you've not come across before and think, oh, wow, their work's amazing. Or, you know, if they tag me, I share everything to my stories. So, you know, hopefully it's getting their work out there a bit more. Um, just for me, just generally, I think it's about a confidence thing, a connection thing, and just, I love Christmas. So I just think it's a nice time of year to be getting involved and sort of chatting to everybody. It's just a really nice chilled out space. And um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be bigger and better than ever this year. <laughs> okay, well, um, if people can't make the live videos on the, the Sundays, will they be saved to your platform? Yes, they will be saved every week. Um, and I will keep them up there at least until the new year. So if there's, if you wanted to practice over Christmas, if you thought, oh, they didn't have me in salon, but I just want to have a go, they'll be up there till well into January, February time. I like to leave them up for as long as possible. Oh. And then I sort of sneak them away so that people forget about them for next year. <laughs> yeah, bring, bring them back, yeah. but just two points all. <laughs> I'll recycle the Grinch again. We'll put a different hat on him or something. That's exactly what I've done. <laughs> So Christmas hat this year. <laughs> oh, I love that. And I just, I mean, whoever isn't already following Gemma, please go and do so because her work is really inspirational and you can see the talent that she has in her little finger, let alone oh, all, all ten of them. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure in, about that. <laughs> but no, in terms of in terms of nail art, you know, she's fantastic. And again, like I said, she's offering her time for free to support um nail artists um with their festive nail art creations, which is amazing so um what a wonderful thing yeah. to do and it's it's just a case of, of logging onto your yeah. instagram heading to your instagram there's right. no there's no fee there's no sign up there's no obligation on your end at all it's just this is when they're on join in and also i'm happy to give feedback so if you are doing it and you're stuck and you think oh, i can't remember what she said about that dm me my dms are always open i always reply mm -hmm. i've got no problem at all breaking it down again privately if you don't feel comfortable asking in the live um but you can ask questions throughout and in my mind i'm kind of thinking even if you don't ever want to do character or 3d or anything like that hopefully even if it's just a case of oh that brush looks good i wonder what she's using oh, i can ask her because there's a lot of that as well i've had before where people would message and be like oh i really want to know what you use for your characters do you mind telling me because i've asked people a few times and they've been a bit funny about it i don't mind just ask me it's that is, i like it i'm like yeah it's here it's this it's great it's brilliant have it like go and get it immediately by 10 like so it gives i'm hoping it breaks down that barrier a bit and it makes it seem not quite so intimidating to try to practice stuff um but like i say you might get a good brush recommendation you might learn loads but hopefully there's something for anybody who wants to join in oh amazing well thank you so much Gemma a for for what you're doing for for the industry oh, in there but also for jumping on a live and, and sharing yeah, all of this with us thank you for having me it's great to get the word out and just let everybody know then fingers crossed we can have lots of people on the line it's no pressure amazing stuff oh you've got loads of fans in the comments oh, so I'm sure you'll be getting oh. so many people tuning into your to your live workshops oh, and they are Sunday 7 p.m and what day are they kicking yeah, off starting on the 5th of November so we're going to get Halloween out of the way this week next weekend with a vengeance we are christmasing it up awesome amazing well 5th of november pop that in your diaries and uh, go and follow Gemma oh. for all of the updates and uh, we you. look forward to seeing what everybody yeah. creates yeah i can't wait i'm really excited <laughs> thank you so much Gemma. we'll see thank you soon you. all right see you soon thanks very much bye, bye.